Noah's Ark is something that many of us have heard of. Our entire world is fascinated by the story of Noah's Ark. Some people even try to build and replicate the entire thing. The search for Noah's Ark is never ending. Most of the search has been done on Mount Ararat in northeastern Turkey. To understand why Noah's Ark was never found, you need to be aware of the fact the Bible says the Ark landed on the mountains of Ararat. This happened on the 150th day of the flood. This place was a region, it was not just a single mountain. The biblical reference of the mountains of Ararat suggests these mountains were formed well before the flood actually ended. The flood itself was a massive catastrophe that pretty much reshaped the planet's entire geology. The surface of our planet continued to change since then. Whether Noah's Ark is ever going to be found we don't know, but it's important to mention that Mount Ararat rests upon volcanic strata right on top of sediments which are laid down by the flood. This is some people's theories anyway. Some have said that it's obvious we're never going to find Noah's Ark on the mountain. These same people state it's very much possible that Noah's Ark will never be found at all. However, some researchers have said they discovered wood on the anomaly. They claim this was part of the original structure and say this is proof the story is fact. Chinese and Turkish explorers say they're 99% sure this wood is the real deal. It was discovered by a 15-member team. Then they claim that carbon dating proved this wood is over 4,800 years old. Scientists have said however that none of this is possible. They say it's not scientifically conceivable the Ark ended up on top of the 15,000 feet tall Mount Ararat. Quite simply, there's not enough water on Earth to rise water levels that high. And in case you were thinking that plate tectonics raised the mountain's peak since Noah's time, Mount Ararat was just as tall and out of reach then as now. The Ararat anomaly is very unlikely to be an arc. Five years ago, the director of the Boston University Center for Remote Sensing told Life Science that believers are interpreting satellite images of a biased outlook. He said the following, up to this time, all of the images I've seen can be interpreted as natural landforms. The feature that has been interpreted as the anomaly is to me the ledge of a rock in partial shadow, with very thickness of snow and ice cover. But there are those that are loyal to the idea that this is the real Noah's Ark. So what do you guys make of this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.